Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for all Sun, Moon and Rising Pisces. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back. Um, it is the week of uh, um, July 4th and this is a wonderful week because a lot of celebrations in the U.S. on Tuesday. On Tuesday I'm also celebrating my second year on YouTube. So this is going to be wonderful. If you Pisces would like to connect with me, I'm going to do a live broadcast on YouTube. So this is going to be good for question and answers. It is the first week of July and we begin from the 3rd until the 9th. This is a wonderful time. I'm sorry I'm wearing my glasses because it's in the night. So I am light is bad. So, okay. As we look at the week, the week is a week of fortune, um, the wheel of fortune. And we have the zodiac energies from the water energies. So it's a week of cleansing. And I can see it in your energy vibration. It's really a week of cleansing. As we look forward and we're looking at the week, we have the energy vibration of the screen of one so whoever she is I'm not really vibrating with her you need to move away from this person because this is a six of sword um, energy this person is not vibrating at uh, energy vibration you need to move away whoever this person is if you're having a relationship with this person you need to move away from this person this person is a Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius this person is not vibrating on a high energy vibration whatever this aspect of this person is it's not a good one so be aware of what you're going to do as we look at Tuesday you have the energy vibration for the nine of swords this just came up this is a sign of worried and it's a sign of worried and it's a sign that you want to move forward you want to leave something behind number three is very significant to you Pisces in this week okay along with this nine of swords which is worried the three of swords is a situation that you're moving away from certain situation and certain aspect so be aware of what is happening because this is a situation that you need to be aware of the ten of swords come also for you Pisces this is really a strange week it's a week of cleansing you have worries uh, um, the ten of swords is here heartbreak and that sort of a thing the ten of swords always bring this sort of an energy of heartbreak in whatsoever is going on you need to be aware and to be positive stay positive you have the king of sword whoever this king of sword is um, you're kind of tired of this man it is someone between the ages of 18 and 35 it's, uh, it's somebody younger than you are whoever is out there you're kind of tired of him it's like he's just so annoying he's always over your shoulder he, you know you can't do your work properly because he's just always there a sort of a thing is something that is really irritating you guys whatever it happening it could be a woman or a man and you have the energy of this uh, Gemini Aquarius uh, Gemini Aquarius or um, Libra person but he's very annoying you know keep away from him because he's extremely annoying whatever is happening this man is annoying the hell out of you you have um, your own energy vibration. So for the people between the ages of 18 and 35, it's going to be good because the tower and it's kind of a crash. It's kind of a crash, but it has nothing to do with you. It's something that is um, uh, um, out of your reach. It's something that has been happening behind the scene. And there is, you know, there is so it's just, there is newness. Uh, so you know you are just moving on in your life and this is a situation that is happening on friday which is you know this is good it is a sort of a it's it's the turning over of a leaf in your life let's see let's uh, say say it that way it's a turning over of a new leaf in your life so whatsoever is happening is really the turning over of a new leaf in your life on saturday the, you know the wheel of fortune bring you worries worries about money whatever is happening on Saturday you are having worries about money and it has to do with the screen of ones whoever this person is it's not good for you I you know 
whoever you may be this queen of wands is 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 not the right person for you she is bringing back some karmatic situation that you shouldn't be involving yourself with be aware because the angman energy is in this week thursday you're going to have it with that uh, um person who is a gemini or an aquarius person or a libra you're going to have this angman sort of a feelings it it's coming back on sunday and it's a pity that it came back on Sunday because the, the full moon is in Capricorn. And for the people who have Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, this is not a good feeling. It's not giving you a good feeling. I don't like this reading for you, Pisces, but I can't change it. This is whatever the energies have brought out. And sometimes we have to face things that we don't want to face. And trust me, each and every one of us have to do it. But yet still... The Eight of Cups, you're, you're in a, an Angman state that the Eight of Cups, you want to move away from something. There's a, there's a ruin, there's an heartbreak, a ruin and an heartbreak, cruelty, and you want to move away from something. The Queen of Pentacles, that sort of a thing is happening. It's, it's, it's a strange, this reading is, you know, Friday is one of your best days when whatsoever that was happening behind the scene the scene totally connect collapse and a new leaf in your life so whoever this you know this prince of sword person was um they're leaving you know they could be leaving your life i'm sorry they could be leaving your life or they could uh, this situation whatever is happening I'm not liking these air signs for you in this week, especially on Thursday. There's going to be just an irritating sort of a thing. And, you know, this thing is happening for some people in their private life and some people is happening in their work life. So there is no energy of love, which is so strange. It's money, it's this, it's that but no energy of love because the number three came up and this is three of ones, which is that you're, you want to leave something behind and move forward. And it has to do with this queen of ones, whoever the queen of ones is for you, Pisces is just not a good person. This is just one of the least reading that I would like to do for anyone because it's all swords. It's all worries. It's two times swords, three times swords coming right behind each other. It's the nine of swords. And then you have this ruin and then you have this energy of this person coming up and this, these energies I'm not liking for you guys. There's, you know, and when we look at the weekend, we have the five of pentacles and we have also you being in the Angman position, which is a water sign. So, you know, you are trying to find yourself back to something and this sort of a thing. So, you know, we need, we really need to learn about what is happening around us. We need to understand what was happening around us because people are trying um, to there is a, an effect of people trying to you know like bunks you out of the water and that sort of a thing and it's not really nice because you are a water sign you can evaluate in any sort of a situation but this situation is kind of getting to your nerves and you're not feeling your energy up in this week and it's just not showing up in this week and I'm so sorry for giving this reading but I can't do anything else in the hair it's just so um well, let's see what other energies because this is i am just not liking this for you pisces but you know let's see what the other energies are saying it's 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 you know with the sword energy i don't like the swords for you pisces so it's a week that is going to be a roller coaster week life is supported to be good for me life is supported with to be good for me of course life is supposed to be good for you Pisces and this is why this reading has given me such an annoying feeling such an a sense of how can this be happening why is this happening to my Pisces there's so much worry so much ruin cruelty and, and this prince of sword person is just an annoying person it's just a sense of uh, and it's a karmatic situation 
whoever this woman is is a karmatic situation don't go back there heal the situation move along you don't need this in your life okay the last energy that from the abundancy universe let's look at what is happening Wow we have this energy and it's two we have so I better um, there's a reason why two of them come up okay okay this one I'm going to read first and it says do you know what what is going on and what feels like when the day come and everything you want and has become is so far yeah well of course and this one the first one says do you know what's a million times better than getting to the top of the mountain getting there after have been lost okay so sometimes you feel so lost and I'm turning it around so you can know which one focus on these see which one um, touch your soul and focus on them hold these thoughts in this week these are positive thoughts towards abundancy and that sort of a situation because it's going to be a week of worries a lot of worries um, whoever this queen of ones is she's showing up in your reading and really you know queen of one is something to do with money and that sort of a thing whoever the screen of ones is can be the energy of the aries and leo or a sagittarius person and she's showing up in your reading and it's a karmatic situation and you're feeling as if you should move away from this person and leave this person the number three energies are here you feel as if you're ruined by this person you have money worries by this person you feel as if you're ruined and you have money worries by this person so whoever this person is it's giving you you feel as if you're ruined by this person and it's bringing money worries into your life okay whoever this queen of sword is and the hangman energy you know this sort of a thing be aware of what is going on here because you know there is a situation especially with you men it's going to affect you men most of all and whoever these um, air sign people is uh, Aquarius uh, or Librans or uh, Gemini's be aware of these people because it's you know it's as if they're bringing in um, things in your life that you really don't need okay I want to say thank you for being here and I'm hoping and I'm wishing that you have a more productive week than what is shown here um, try and raise above your worries and situations and you know you feel as if you're ruined but you're not ruined as if you let that sort of an energy takes you over then it will happen but you know there's hope after um, loss okay namaste until next week